Office 365 gives us the advantage to work remotely without missing a beat. I can work from any location globally on any device of my choosing by accessing all of my favorite Microsoft applications and work documents. All I really need is a secure internet connection. In this video, we will highlight what a typical day in the life of a remote user can look like and give you some tips and tricks to help you work more effectively within the Office 365 environment. Let's get started. It's Monday, and we're going to spend the first few minutes of our day setting ourselves up for a successful week. Most people start their day by checking their email, and I'm no different. Wow, that's a lot of emails from this weekend. I can see that a lot of them are just replies to one particular email. Since Microsoft manages my messages by creating conversation threads from the emails that have the same subject, I can save some time by cleaning up some of those folders. With my inbox selected, I'm going to navigate to the Clean Up Folders option. Now this option can be found in the Home tab or the Folders tab. I'm going to clean up the current folder and my subfolders to move any redundant emails into my deleted items folder. Only the most recent email will be maintained in my inbox. There, my inbox is more manageable already. Oh look, this is an email from a client of ours who wants to discuss a potential new project with my team. They've indicated the times they're available in their email, so I'm going to go ahead and reply to this email with a meeting request. I'll add my team members on the email and double check in Scheduling Assistant that the times my client wanted works for our schedules as well. I'm going to leave the location blank so that a Teams join link will be added to the email for my client. Even if my client does not have Teams, they'll still be able to join the meeting by selecting the Join on the Web option. They can enter their name so we can identify them in the meeting. Now I'll select Send. I think it's important that my team has a copy of this email, so I'll send it into the Teams workspace. In my Project Team workspace, we have a channel for our upcoming client projects. I'm going to copy the channel email address and forward the email into the Teams channel. Now everyone can easily view and access a copy of this email. I'll alert my team to the great news of this potential new project. Next, I want to tackle some of my daily tasks, so I'm going to navigate to Planner. From the ellipsis, I can select Planner and see all the tasks assigned to me from throughout the plans I'm a member of. I must finalize a client proposal that includes a budget and timelines for a meeting tomorrow. This is a task that just can't wait. I'm going to use the shortcut forward slash go to to jump into the channel that this document is housed in. I'll select Files and select the document to continue working on it within the Teams environment. As I'm completing this proposal, I need some help from one of my colleagues, so I'm going to send him a quick message as I work. I'll navigate back to the search and command bar and place an at symbol, and then start typing his name. When Teams finds him, I'll hit tab and type my message. Now that I've completed the document, I will alert the members of the team so they can review it and ensure all the required information is accurately documented here. Now I'll navigate back to Planner and mark that task as complete. 
Oh, good. Just in time to head into my first meeting of the day. Since I'm joining from a loud location, I will turn on live captions, which allows me to read along with the meeting. I'll also start a meeting recording because we have a few team members that couldn't join us today and they may need access to this recording later. I will also send a note to the participants of the meeting volunteering to take meeting minutes. What a productive meeting. We accomplished a lot. Let me open the meeting minutes because I have some new action items from that meeting that I'm going to have to add to our planner. Now I can add them to my department's planner. If I select the globe, I can access the full planner application. I'm going to add these tasks now. I'll assign some of these items to myself so that they appear under my tasks when I access Planner through Teams in the future. One of my action items from the meeting was to connect with one of our vendors to confirm our order and delivery date for one of our community initiatives. I'm going to tackle that item first. I want to make sure the team sees this email and any replies the vendor may send, so I'm going to CC the team channel into this email. For the past month, I've been working with my colleague Brenda to gather data for a special proposal our departments would like to present to our executive staff. I need to share my data with her, so I'll do that through OneDrive. There are a couple of ways I can do this. I can share the document privately with Brenda by copying the link here and pasting it into our chat, or I can attach it in our private chat. I want to be able to manage Brenda's permission to this document by allowing view-only permission, as I will need this document to remain intact for another branch of this project, so I'm going to select Open in OneDrive. Now I can select my document and assign view only permission for Brenda. I will allow her to download her own copy should she need it, so I'll leave this toggle in the off position. I have a client lunch visit scheduled to begin in about 30 minutes and I'll need to meet my colleague in the lobby first. I haven't had time to review the notes on the client yet, but thankfully Office 365 allows me to access all of my work items from my mobile device. As I make my way over to the client meeting, I'm going to open my OneNote notebook to review some of my notes about this client engagement. I'll add some important questions that I'll need the client to answer before we can begin work on their project. While I'm on site with our client, I need to connect to one of my colleagues to coordinate a start date for their project. Let me open the Microsoft Teams application so I can get the answers we need quickly. Now that I've received confirmation from my colleague, I can confirm the project start date with our client and book the kickoff meeting from my Outlook application. Mm -hmm. 
Now that I'm back at my laptop, I'll need to organize this new project. Adam mentioned Stephanie is available to begin the Honeybee project in three weeks, so I'm going to book her in using Shifts. Shifts is a handy schedule management tool that we use to organize our staff assignments. I'm going to book Stephanie into the Honeybee project for one week, which helps us fulfill our client's training requirement. Earlier today, we had a meeting that I recorded. I'm going to access Stream to help me manage and socialize that meeting recording. I'll have to verify myself with multi-factor authentication. And now I can access Stream. I'm going to trim the beginning of the video because it took a little bit of time to get started as we waited for others to join. To access meeting recordings, I'll navigate to the My Content drop-down and choose Meetings. Now I'll select the meeting to open it and choose the ellipsis. From here I'll select Trim. Once I've trimmed the meeting, I can select Apply and then Save to confirm this action. Next, I want to create a transcript of this video, so from the ellipsis, I'm going to select Update Video Details and choose English as my preferred language. Now, Auto Generate Captions becomes an option that is enabled. I'm going to select Apply at the top of my screen. Now, from the settings, a user can select Show Transcript and read the transcript from this meeting if they wish. Now I'm going to select the Share icon and copy the link to create an announcement post that I can post in multiple channels of different Teams workspaces for all of the meeting participants to access. Now for the remainder of my day, I can focus on my important work items. And checking more planner items off of my task list. With my Office 365 subscription, I can work in the office, remotely from any location globally, or while on the go with my mobile applications. No matter the situation, I always remain connected to my organization and the important applications and work items that I need for success. As Microsoft continues to empower us with new tools and features for success, we will continue to help highlight them in our channel. So like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out. Thank you for watching and have a successful work day.